Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn about property accessors, how to use them in TypeScript. They are also known as getter and setter methods, or you can say get accessor and set accessor. Let's see how they actually work. Let's get a class here. Let's make it employee, and it will have one property. Let's make it count, and it will be number. Now I'll create a object. EMP then you can see that this property is accessible on the object level let's do one thing create one method to get the value of this count so let's make it get count so it will simply return the count from here just make it this dot Let's do the assignment. Make it hundred. Only piece of console log and get the count. Save it. So this is the output. This is pretty much basic example how you can set a property and get its value. But if I want to add some check before doing the assignment. I can add one more method here that will be set count. I don't want this value of count to be more than 100. If it is more than 100, then I want it to fall back to value of 100. Let's make set count function here. So it will take a value, just put some space here, and that will be of type number. And this dot underscore count will be equal to count sorry it should be value not count so we need to add a check here first before doing this assignment so if value is greater than 100 then I want this dot count to be equal to 100 else go with this assignment okay now since we are exposing this property on the object level we first make it private okay now we got two functions so we'll utilize them to set and get the value so let's make it set count and make it 98 now we'll call the get count function to get the value so let's make it console log emp dot get count. Save it. So this is the output. Now let's make it one zero five. Save it, and we are getting hundred. So these two functions are doing their jobs. But there is one more better approach rather than using this set count and get count function. So that approach is using property accessors. Let me show you how to use it. So to set a property, you have to make use of set keyword. Then your property name, in this case, let's make it count, okay? To get the value, you need get keyword and your property name, in this case, let's make it count again, okay? So we are setting the count, we are getting the count now just remove this piece of code now how you will do the assignment here basically how you will set this property value to set it you have to make use of emp dot count okay now you can do the assignment here like this 95 now if you want to get the value just make use of same format emp dot count that's it just save it and this is the output if I'll try to set the value more than 100 let's make it 150 we'll get 100 in return so this is set accessor this is get accessor set is used to set the value get is used to get the value I hope you got the point how they actually work see you in the next video have a nice day